Hi, it's been a few weeks since I've had a, a proper day out, a proper explore. So uh, I've come down today, uh, just a couple of miles walk from my house down to uh, down to Eckington Woods in the, in the Moss Valley. It's about it's about seven eight miles southeast of Sheffield. So it's a location I visited before. I uh, in the uh, middle of the last lockdown, I uh, I did a run um, down from from Eckington Church down to, to Ford, at the, the other end of the Moss Valley. I put the link up for that video. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, I do videos on uh, a bit of running. Well, it's most meant to be running, but I'm not doing that much running at the moment. Um, but I like exploring and a bit of adventure as well. And I, I like just going and, uh, and looking for things and, uh, and looking for old, disused, uh, abandoned things. And that's what I'm doing today. So I've never seen it and I'm not exactly sure where about it is but I do believe there's an old World War II bunker hidden in these woods so uh, we're gonna go and see if we can find that and just have a look there is a bit of a twist um, to that story all's not what it seems with the uh, with the old war bunker but I'll, uh, I'll explain uh, a little bit later on when we get down to, to the bunker got any light or anything on me so I don't know how much footage we'll be able to get from inside In, uh, piece of history there just left in the in the woods um, so, uh, so I was saying there's a, there's a bit of a, a bit of a twist to the history so you might be thinking what's a bunker doing in the middle of nowhere in the middle of some woods and although this used to be a, uh, a working colliery a plumley colliery um, it was actually uh, a decoy site um, I think it was uh, project starfish I think it was called and, uh, and what and what it was for is they used to light lanterns down the valley um, just to try and this is a, as a decoy city just to try and attract the, the German bombers away in this in the Second World War away from the city of Sheffield so they basically mimicked the uh, the Don Valley where all the, the steel making and industry was um, how successful that was uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, but so yeah it's just a interesting piece of history there so if you're in Eckington Woods uh, just come and uh, come and have a look it's on the it's on the, the north side path I, I can't believe I've actually uh, so run down that path quite a few times I've never I've never noticed it 
Yes, it's been a few weeks since I've done a proper explore and got out of the house for a, for a few hours. It's been a really, really busy couple of weeks just getting the house ready to go on the market. So we have accepted an offer on our house. After a few days, it went on sale, and we've had uh, an offer accepted on uh, on the dream house, our the house that we've been looking at for a good few for for a while now. But, so fingers crossed that all goes smoothly. So um, so yeah, hopefully in the next few months I'm going to be moving out to uh, to northeast Derbyshire. So there's going to be plenty uh, plenty of new places to to explore and uh, and go running. Just had a couple of a couple of the coldest nights of the winter so far. I think it got down to about minus uh, minus four around here yesterday. The ground is uh, solid, which is a, a good job. Otherwise, it'd be a bit of a mud fest. So we're just going to go down, cross over the the Moss Brook that gives the the valley its name, and go and have a look at the old engine house. Valley. It's another valley that's just littered with uh, with lost industry. I think um, it was just full of old uh, sickle and scythe mills, just like uh, just like the Shirebrook Valley that we went to a, a few months ago. Now uh, I don't see much evidence of any of the old mills or wheels or anything like that, um, but we have started to get a glimpse through the trees of uh, the seldom seen seldom seen engine house. So, so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just head on up the path and, uh, and have a bit of a closer look at that. So here we are. It's a huge towering structure. Really impressive. I was, since I was last year in the autumn, I think someone's uh, had a go at trying to get in. Not sure if they've been successful or not. So yeah, this, this seldom, seldom seen engine house. Um, it's been uh, it's been disused since about 1901, I think. It was the old pump house for uh, for Plumley Colliery.
there we go just heading back up the hill now just into uh, into the back end of Mosborough um, might see what the queue was like for Tony's Chippy they were queuing around the block when I uh, when I walked past earlier so yeah that's Moss Valley if you've never been before come and uh, come and uh, have a look like I say it's only seven or eight miles south of Sheffield quite easy to get to on public transport as well um, it's well worth a visit so um, as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you've uh, if you like the video and um, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you again soon in another video thanks bye bye